Hello and welcome to the class seating chart instructional video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to create and update seating charts electronically. Creating seating charts electronically will help save time, reduce human error, and increase the efficiency of our contact tracing teams, as these charts will be made available to them as soon as you save them in this tool. Because of this nature, there are some restrictions when creating your seating charts, which we will cover in this video. So let's get started. We will begin on the ARIES web homepage. Under the Instructor Tools heading, you will see a link for class lists. Please click that link and it will take you to the class list homepage. Before we get further into the instruction, I want to draw your attention to the Open Hide Seating Chart Information box in blue. Click the box to expand it and view instructions for this page. Throughout the seating chart process, you will find a similar box on each page and we encourage you to read and reference these instructions. Your current classes are listed on this page, and on the right next to the link for class list, you will see a link for seating chart. Following this link takes you to the current seating chart list for that class. Again, to open or hide information for this page, just click the blue box. Also on this page, there is a button to take you to the seating chart video library. Clicking this button will take you to an additional page that includes more helpful videos. Prior to creating any seating charts for this class, you will see a message that reads, you have not yet created a seating chart, and your list of charts will be empty. From here, you will click Add New Seating Chart. If your course is taught at multiple locations, all layout templates that are in the system will appear here. By clicking on View, you can see its layout. Once you find the one that you want to create a seating chart with, click Select This Template at the bottom of the page to be taken to the Add New Chart page. If your course is taught at only one location, you will not see this step, and instead you will be taken directly to the Add New Chart page. As always, you have the option to open or hide the blue information box here. On this page, you will see a seating chart template. As you can see on my screen, this is visible on the left side. If you're attempting this on a phone or tablet, the template may appear at the top of the page. And because of this, we do strongly encourage you to use a monitor or laptop with this tool. Now the first item listed is the description box. While this box is optional, we do encourage you to include a description with each seating chart you create to provide additional information and context for the contact tracing team. For example, if students in your class attend in person on different days, you could note that here. Below this, there is a link to add TAs students. This section is optional. If you have TAs or students who are not enrolled in the course but will be sitting in throughout the semester, you can add them here. For more information, we have made a separate instructional video for this feature, which can be found in our helpful videos library. Beneath this, you will see numbered boxes under the header Seating Chart Assignment Tool. These boxes correspond to the numbered seats on the seating chart template. The number of boxes available for seat assignment will match the room capacity, which is listed on the seating chart template. Also note that the layout of seat assignment boxes moves down in rows of 10, then over and down and over again. If the classroom has more than 30 seats, the list will continue below in the same format. To begin creating your seat assignment chart, Click the drop down box next to the seat number you are assigning, and a list of currently enrolled students will open. Only enrolled students will appear here, so if students have dropped or are waitlisted for the course, they will not be included in this list. For the sake of this demonstration, I'll put in the same student in seats four and five. When you are creating your charts, please remember to only assign a student to a single seat. Once you're finished with your assignments, Scroll down and click Check for Errors before saving. This does not immediately save your chart. However, it will take you to a page with any errors and information to review before saving. For this demonstration, I input the same student in seat four and in seat five. So I received an error message letting me know that I must correct this information before saving. The affected seat assignments are also highlighted in red below and can be corrected by choosing a different student or resetting the selection. I also received a warning with a list of students who do not have a seat assignment. We recognize this could be intentional and just ask that you review the list before saving. Again, you will scroll down and click check for errors before saving. 
On this page, you will receive another message, this time summarizing the information in your seating chart, including whether or not you have provided a description, a list of students without assignment, and finally, a button to save. Once you've saved your chart, you'll be returned to the current seating chart list page and will see this new chart listed with a last update date. Please know that if you have more than one seating chart for this class, they will be ordered in this list by that date with the most recent chart on top of the list. To view the seating chart and to make changes, including updating, copying, or deleting, click View next to the chart. The seating chart you are viewing will be highlighted in green at the top of the page. The only information available to update on a seating chart that has already been saved is the description. So, if you need to make changes to your chart description, you can do so in the box here and then click Update Description. Once a chart is created, however, you cannot modify seating assignments. This is to avoid incomplete seating charts sitting in the system, as well as provide a record of charts for our contact tracing team. Please remember, as soon as you save the seating chart, they are accessible by the contact tracing team. If you are creating a classroom with a capacity of over 60, please be ready to assign all students in one sitting. An activity for an extended period of time can cause the site to time out and you could lose everything not already saved. If you need to make changes to the seat assignment on a chart that has already been saved, you can do so by scrolling down and using the button, copy this chart to create a new one. This option allows you to update your seating chart by copying seat assignments from your original chart. Students who have added, dropped the class since the last chart was made will be appropriately reflected. You may then assign seats to students who have added the class. When doing so, please remember to use the description box to provide context for this new chart. For example, if you are creating this chart after university census, you could note post census chart. Once you are done making changes, you can scroll down and click check for errors before saving. You will notice in this round, because I did not assign any students to more than one seat, I am immediately taken to the message with a summary of my chart assignments to review. And once I've reviewed the information on this page, I can click save. And then you will see this new chart listed at the top of the page. And I will click view next to this new chart. For your convenience, there are a few print buttons on the page. You can save the list of students by clicking the print list option here, or the seating map by clicking print seating map. On this next screen, you can save this as a document by making sure your print destination is set to save as PDF. This option allows you to change layout to be either portrait or landscape, depending on the seating map shape. You can also change margins and scale if needed. Once you click the save button, it will take a few seconds to complete refreshing the page. Please be patient until the page is fully refreshed before you go on to the next task. The final option on this page is the Delete This Chart button in red. The only time a chart should be deleted is if an error was made when the chart was created and saved, and therefore some or all of the information in the chart was never accurate. So if this chart was never accurate, I would click Delete This Chart and you will receive a warning message in red, reminding you that this action cannot be reversed and to confirm that you are deleting the chart for the appropriate reason. So you can click Confirm Delete to delete the chart and that seating chart will no longer be listed on the current seating chart list. Once you are done with this class, you can return to your class list by clicking Return to Class List at the top and you are ready to begin with a different one. This concludes the overview of the seating chart program. We hope this seating chart tool will save you time and help increase efficiency for the contact tracing team. All of us from the Office of the Registrar wish you the best of luck this semester, and we're here whenever you need us. If you have any questions regarding this video or the seating chart tool, please feel free to contact Aries Web Support at ariesweb at colostate.edu adding seating chart to the subject line for any questions regarding this seating chart tool.